Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another Atlas Earth video. Now, normally I do my updates on my personal Atlas Earth account with the month in review that I've already recorded and published this weekend. However, I left it out. Uh, this month I'm doing things a little bit differently, and much of that is because I want to celebrate a milestone in the game for myself. If I go to the profile here, add up all of these parcels, and you see that I have broken 2,000 parcels. So I'm going to go over that update, but first let's talk about Atlas Earth's updates. And we're going to start with the leaderboard here. So here on the leaderboard, uh, you notice anything different? There's four tabs now instead of three. Uh, turns out on top of the local, the state, and the national, we now have the global leaderboard. Now, at first, it doesn't look too much different from the U.S. leaderboard, and that is because a lot of the top players, I'd say about 95% of the top players, are, are in the United States, and that makes sense. We had a two-year head start, and it's about twice as easy to make money on Atlas Earth, with the on the United States anyways, with the AMP program, and two Atlas Bucks per ad instead of one. So free-to-play options are definitely more abundant in the United States, so it stands to reason that we would have more players at the very top. But not everybody is on that leaderboard. As we go down here to the 10th place spot, I believe the 10th place spot is Chase's Bank. Well, Rainbow Ultra finds his way in the top 10 globally, as he has gotten the presidency over in Mexico, England, and Canada. And then has a whole bunch of governor slash premierships, and uh, about two, four, five, six, seven, about 20 or so mayorships, I think. So I've been wanting a global leaderboard for a while now because I wanted to see where I stood amongst other Atlas Earth players in the world. And as I'm scanning my way down here to find me in the 2000 spot, and just a little bit more, oh wait, I just passed myself there, there it is. I'm currently sitting at 237th in the world at 2,000 parcels, exactly 2,000 parcels. And I still do have um, currently standing at five parcels plus, I think on Friday, I'll be picking up another 14. So that will definitely go up as uh, soon as I get my next challenge. Um, also, this is for Heidi, my challenge update. I should probably, I'm just going to go to the side here a little bit and show this. I'm currently at level 11. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the LPU. I want to say I will. I'm over halfway done, and it is the 11th day of the month, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, I could probably get it. I think I'm going to get it, but it's going to be down to the wire. Uh, I'm still just getting bottlenecked by minigames, pretty much. Uh, however, we do have a Super Ramp Boost coming up on Thursday, so that will help me get rid of this one, the 15-pointer. And then I will get another 45 points for bowling. So that'll be 60 points right there. And then I'm not quite sure what's next on the list. I heard um, that there's another mini game that we're going to get bottlenecked with. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see what happens at that point. So going back to the leaderboard. Like I said, I'm 237th in the world. Now I'm going to make my way down through the United States. It's probably not going to be quite as much of a drop for me. And there I am, currently sitting at 223rd in the country. So 223rd in the country, 237th in the world. Yeah, that's about right. 95% of the top players are still in the United States, I think. Maybe like 93%. And almost everyone, actually, I should say everyone who is above me that is international, probably has bought through parcel packages. The other interesting race I want to mention is on the state race. So here in the state race, we have a real fight going on here in the 6 through 9 spot. So Ergo is sitting at 2140 in 6th place. Open Boosters, who was the previous president, had quite a bit of land here in North Carolina. Sitting in 7th place at 2018, and I am about to pass him. I should pass him, actually, um, as soon as I get that level 4 challenge. I know that I also got uh, really close to Tom McDonald. I think he even passed me at one point. Again, I blame myself for that. I ignored minigames for months, and I let Heretic War, Glaston, and Tom McDonald kind of catch up to me. Going forward, I think I'm going to be focusing a lot more on minigames, focusing on those challenges, and trying to get myself up. Next stop, 3,000 parcels. 
Now I would show the local one, but I want to save that for the next thing I want to show, the next feature of Atlas Earth. So let's go to the browser and let's show you another new feature of Atlas Earth this month. And that new feature right here is the Atlas Earth Mayor Map. So you can actually kind of click on the global leaderboard here and you can see everyone so far in the world. So I'm, let me click in that right here. There's the world, you can go here nationally and you can see who runs in the United States, who runs in the United Kingdom. Uh, takes a little bit to load though. Rainbow Ultra is currently the uh, president there at 4,000. How about, how about Ireland? We got Master 101 there at 365. Uh, let's go down to, uh, how's France? Let's see France. Uh, Airsoft Do 77. So yeah, I'm going to get a chance to kind of go through all the different presidents of Atlas Earth. Presidents slash prime ministers of Atlas Earth, I should say. Uh, yeah, here we go. Metric ZNRW is at 1568 in Germany. Uh, let's go down to South Africa. And in South Africa, Frosty Frisbee, 1145. Uh, coming back here, I think, I think we did mention Rainbow Ultra runs Canada, 7500. Wow, 45, 4859 for second place. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go to Mexico. And here in Mexico, Rainbow Ultra is first place, followed by Aztec MX. Hey, shout out to Aztec MX. Great job. You got to second place. Keep at it. I think you'll eventually pass Rainbow Ultra if you keep at it. He's a little bit, I think he's a little bit spread thin, honestly. That eventually, uh, that will catch up to him. He's going to lose all of his presidencies. He might have to stick to one of them, like maybe Canada. Now let's see if there is Japan and Korea. Currently, okay, Korea is currently out. So let's take a look at Korea very quickly. Uh, Daigungen at 108. I think they just started, so that does make sense. Um, oh, Sir Crowley at 36. That's interesting. But yeah, we got uh, we got Korea out. I think Japan's going to be out in the next uh, in the next month. So definitely something I'm going to look at. Uh, probably go through all the different presidents and go through the leaderboard it's going to make things a lot easier but another thing i want to mention and let me get to uh go to state here i need to zoom in okay let me zoom in north carolina and i'll show you the current north carolina leaderboard make sure that it actually matches what i see i think it does match what i see on the leaderboard i'm sitting at eighth yep there i am uh, so I do want to show you one other fun thing, and I'm going to go to, oh, right, this is a favor to Count Maximus, too, uh, for this video. Let me go to the city here, zoom into Charlotte, and I can show, okay, so in the Charlotte leaderboard right now, Count Maximus sitting at 2,000, and Dr. Pupper second place at 1027. Now I'm going to show here. Another fun feature, you notice those little colors there. Yeah, that's right. Those are rarities. Green is common. Blue is rare. Pink slash purple is epic. And yellow is legendary. And yes, it will show you each rarity. So you no longer need a legendary parcel upgrade to find out which parcel is where. So that is great. I mean, there's still the matter of having to pick that parcel to sell if you want to sell it. However, um, yeah, there it is, common. Yeah, this is great. I really like this update. Great job to the development team at Atlas Earth for making this happen. They've really come a long way the last year and a half. Um, okay, so now for my local update. I'm just going to make my way to Kannapolis. And I actually have two updates to show. So, oh, Kannapolis on the east side, right. Okay, so in Kannapolis right now, yes, that whole Atrium Health Ballpark is mine, by the way. You remember that from the uh, videos that I've done, though I might want to grab some of these as well. We'll see. Uh, I'm sitting at 1934. I'm in first place. In second place is Big Dog 50 at 220. 
Trucho 219, 214, plant PhD at 135. And then we're going to go up to Landis, my new mayorship, by the way. And yeah, that's basically where I sat to do the X marks the spot thing. Uh, there's the, And there's the score that I use. I sat there, and I'm currently sitting at 60 parcels. Currently in the lead, BK Love, the former mayor and current mayor of China Grove at 47. Fourth Horseman with 28. Brent 1979 at 25. I'm going to try to put down, a. I think, the next 25 or so parcels I'm going to put down here. I want to get it to about 100 and then just kind of leave it there for a little bit. And basically, Landis is going to be my maintenance city. Um, the other city I was looking at as a possibility, I believe, was Enochville, which is on the west side here. Uh, and yeah, you can actually see and kind of target where you want to go. Enochville, Parcel Zone 20. But the reason why I left this one alone was because Landis was on the US-95, which is this Cannon Boulevard here. Um, and Enochville, you kind of have to go well out of your way to get to. I think you have to go downtown and then make your way through C Street. And then there's like an entire bunch of neighborhoods and stuff here. But it's definitely well out of the way. Um, Enochville definitely, uh, there's room to grow here for sure. And I'm not going to say that I'm not going to go after it. But like, there are only maybe how many parcel, how many parcels has it been total? that have been taken in this city. Like, it's got to be, like, just a little more than 100, right? There's 28. So 28. So if I if I calculate, 25 of you guys have gotten one parcel. That's 25, 30, 37, 48, 68 parcels total in Enochville. 68. It's just way too out of the way. The biggest main street is C Street. So I can kind of show, like, strategies on how to gain mayorships as well is... I kind of aim for uh, interstates, and if the interstates are too expensive, then I would go after U.S. routes. So North Cannon Boulevard is the U.S. 29, and that's why I ended up getting Landis. Landis had a little bit more promise. This is China Grove. Uh, Landis had a little bit more promise. Uh, China Grove is a little bit more expensive. If you take a look up here, me, there you go, 130. BK Love definitely, I think BK Love might actually live here, and that's probably why they took China Grove. Um, so, yeah. And then there's other ones like I think there's Rowan County. You can probably go for... Okay, there's Rowan County. Glaston 366. Penny Pincher 241. BK Love at 237. So, uh, yeah. Um, you see here the interstate cities and the interstate counties are really hot. Not so much when you go out of your way to places like Enochville. Hey, if you want a free mayorship, there you go. It's 20 parcels there. Um, I believe, too, AJ has one down in, let me find it. He said uh, Elrod, I believe. Elrod, North Carolina. Zoom in that one. I don't think it worked. There it is. He's got exactly one parcel on it, and I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's a common. So anyway, yeah, we will have a lot more fun with this mayor map down the line. But right now, I'm going to go to exactly how much I'm making with my 2,000 parcels. So let's go to that with the Atlas Earth Calculator. Okay, so here we are sitting at 2,000 parcels with the distribution of 1,028 commons, 602 rare, 286 epics, and 84 legendaries. Uh, my distribution percentage is not as bad as Shaman 15's, who's still sitting at lower than 1%, but, you know, it's still not that much better. I'm at 2.33, and I'm constantly dropping, honestly. So coming down here, I am sitting at 67 cents per day when it's not a super rent boost. However, I'm getting a nice, healthy $22.34 in the next super rent boost event. Um, I, do will, I will definitely have 20 parcels I can put down as well. But I'm actually going to go ahead and hold off on buying those because I want to save those for the 25 parcel, um, the 25 parcel achievement basically on the monthly challenges. So that's why I'm going to be saving those. I'm going to come down here and you see the uh, monthly. I'm sitting at $63.29 a month. We will subtract $49.99 for the Explorer Club and I'm making about $13.30 a month after the Explorer Club subscription. 
So my goal is to continue to grow on this. And like I said, try to get to, I want to say 3,000 parcels by the end of 2025. But I think I might be able to get beyond that. We'll see what happens. Um, and I'm going to try to do that while getting myself back to break even. So in the month of November, I managed to get up to a $104 uh, deficit so far in Atlas Earth. Um, now, I'm not going to worry about that too much in December because I've already paid for the $60, which is for the monthly challenges, as well as the Explorer Club membership. So by doing that, I'm going to uh, increase my deficit to 164 and then whatever I cash out is what I cash out, basically. So I think I'm going to end up losing money for the month of December, but my goal is going to be over the next six months... Even with the Explorer Club membership, I can see I can make significant gains. So that's what I'm going to do is just keep the Explorer Club membership, keep growing as fast as I can, and then get to a point where I'm finally break even and starting to make a profit in this game by 2025. Now, I'm, you're probably still going to be making more profit than me at this point if you never bought anything, including the Explorer Club, at least in my opinion. As you probably noticed on my beer money portfolio, my simulated account that started January 1st is already over 140 bucks, and it's only going to keep growing by about $25 a month. So to me, I still think that it's best that you don't spend any money. I mean, in the long run, I might end up coming out a little bit ahead by spending money on the Explorer Club. But again, one, that's a risk that I was planning to take, and two, it was for the YouTube channel because you all kind of enjoyed it. So, you know, I thought might as well. So that is the video, everyone. Uh, hope that you enjoyed that. And I just realized that Swagbucks keeps popping in survey pop-ups there. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment what you think of the new features on Atlas Earth. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I am Pharaoh Silver, signing out. I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.